Welcome to the RTL Garage. This episode is one you definitely should stick around for. Today's episode is brought to you by HP Tuners, performance at your fingertips. Last week, we had Tim's Camaro on the dyno. The result showed one thing, Tim's Camaro needed a tune. So we're here today at Modern Muscle with owner Justin Myers to do exactly that. We're gonna tune Tim's Camaro using HP's Tuners products. Sitting down with Justin, we asked him who exactly is Modern Muscle and what is it that we're doing today? We're here in Oswego, Illinois at our 10,000 square foot facility in Oswego, Illinois. Uh, you can visit us at www.modern-muscle.com. Uh, we're a full service speed shop specializing in a lot of late model performance. We do anything from restorations, chassis work, and full engine builds, boost spray, power adders, anything you can think of, we do it. We can, we're a full service shop. We can take it from, from concept to design to execution to tuning. Uh, we actually follow up with most of our big builds at the track, so you do have track support here at Modern Muscle. What is it exactly that we're doing today? Uh, today we're, we've got Tim in with his uh, fifth gen Camaro, and uh, the beginning of uh, the fifth gen Camaro project with Tim here, uh, Modern Muscle sponsoring him, and uh, the first step today is we're going to take his bone stock uh, fifth gen Camaro with the L99 engine, and we're going to put it up on our dyno jet today here at Modern Muscle, and uh, we're going to see what we can pull out of her today uh, just on the dyno alone with the bone stock vehicle. Uh, one of the nice things about tuning these vehicles is that we can actually reduce or eliminate torque management, which is uh, actually limiting the amount of delivered torque that the vehicle will produce at the wheel. Well, another question for you is how long have you been using HP tuners? I've been using HP tuners now for probably four or five years. Really love the HP tuners interface. It's really uh, user friendly. Uh, once you actually learn the aspects of tuning itself, it's really easy to apply with the HP Tuner software. Lots of great scanning, logging tools, um, really great transmission parameter control with the, the new A6 transmission. Um, really makes it easy, the job of a tuner easy. We've been using the shop since day one for all our GM platform stuff. Um, really enjoy using it, it's my preferred platform. We're tuning on our Dynojet 224. XLC, it's an Eddy Current Dyno, it's a full tuner dyno. So it's a great complement to the uh, HP Tuner's interface, which really gives me all the tools I need to tune these vehicles. Last time at the track, we saw Tim run a 13.81. With the tune and some drag radials, what do you think, what is your goal for the Camaro? Uh, we'd like to take fifth gen Camaro, uh, bone stock, no cold air intake, no nothing. Uh, we're just gonna put a tire on it so we can get it off the line. Uh, we're looking to get him uh, into the 12s um, just by tuning his A6 transmission and putting a tire on there that will get him on the line. All right, another question is what kind of numbers are we looking for at the dyno today? Uh, today we're looking for, uh, again, not only a drastic improvement in, in the peak horsepower numbers and, and optimizing what we have here with the 5th uh, gen Camaro Bowen stock, but uh, we're looking to improve the drivability significantly. Um, I'd like to see peak gains of about 20 rear wheel horsepower in addition to Fourth gear pole with the stock tune, baselined at 310 horsepower, 316 foot pounds of torque. So that's our starting point. We'll see what happens. We just got done with Tim's uh, baseline run here. Starting to look at the uh, stock tune file, make the changes that I want to make uh, with the fueling and spark and torque management settings, and then we'll uh, give it a pull and see what happens. I'd like to see 15 more horsepower. But actually, the yeah. so right so 20 would be nice. Uh, installed the first tune, made some fueling changes, made some spark changes, uh, deleted engine torque management, and uh, we're going to give it a pull. 
log the AFR and spark and see where we're at and then make a couple more pulls and make some adjustments and get some more ponies out of this thing. Peak numbers, we picked up six horsepower and uh, 23 foot pounds of torque. What's interesting, if we look at the graph over here, is that although we've only picked up six horsepower, six peak horsepower, you can see the significant gains all throughout the power band from 3,500 all the way up. And that's, that's really what's going to get the car moving more than uh, peak numbers, although the, the peak torque number has jumped uh, significantly. So. Overall excited about the results? Good first pull, yeah. Definitely that was all through first. HP tuner, right? All through HP tuners, yep. I'm pretty happy with first pass. Uh, peak numbers doesn't really show uh, much of a difference, but like Justin just said, uh, look at the power band. It's a significant gain all throughout the power band, in both horsepower and torque. So I'm pretty happy with the first, first pass. We'll see uh, how much better it gets. This is where Justin's expertise definitely shines. He was able to take the 2010 Camaro and turn out some pretty impressive horsepower torque numbers using HB tuners. system in it. Uh, it gives us a lot more flexibility and ability to change the, the dynamics of the actual shifts and uh, that's something that Tim was about to experience. Well that's it for today. Thanks for joining us. To see more on the RTL Garage visit youtube.com backslash RTL Garage. And as always if you have any questions or comments please feel free to email me at the RTL Garage at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and have a good one. Thank <laughs> you.